Introduction Aditya, are you free? Yes, mom. I want you to go to the grocer and ask him to deliver 25 kgs of wheat flour, okay? I'll do that, mom. How much shall I pay him? Um, 1 kg of wheat flour costs 25 rupees. So pay the grocer 625 rupees for 25 kgs. Wow, mom. That was fast calculation. <laughs> Thanks, Aditya. Take 700 rupees and bring back the balance, okay? Uh, yeah, I know. The grocer will return 75 rupees. <laughs> Good calculation, Aditya. In this lesson, you will learn about money. Introduction Aditya, are you free? Yes, mom. I want you to go to the grocer and ask him to deliver 25 kgs of wheat flour, okay? I'll do that, mom. How much shall I pay him? Um, 1 kg of wheat flour costs 25 rupees. So pay the grocer 625 rupees for 25 kgs. Wow, mom. That was fast calculation. <laughs> Thanks, Aditya. Take 700 rupees and bring back the balance, okay? Uh, yeah, I know. The grocer will return 75 rupees. <laughs> Good calculation, Aditya. In this lesson, you will learn about money. Using money. Money is used to make purchases. It is also used to pay people wages and salaries for their work. In order to understand and use money better, let us learn to compute value of money and value of one. Value of many. Ramu is a gardener. People engage his services and pay him 210 rupees for a day. In the year 2011, he worked for 312 days. How much did he earn in 2011? Ramu's earnings per day is 210 rupees. Number of days Ramu worked is 312. Total amount Ramu earned in year 2011 is 210 into 312. Let us break the multiplication into four steps. First, we multiply 200 and 300. Then, 10 and 300. Then, 212. Then, 10 and 12. Now we add up the products to get 65,520 rupees. Therefore, Ramu earned 65,520 rupees in year 2011. Radha is a doctor. She charges 625 rupees for a consultation. In a day, she receives 12 patients. If she works 23 days in a particular month, how much will she earn? Radha's fee for one consultation is 625 rupees. Number of patients in a day is 12. Number of patients in 23 days are 23 into 12, that is 276. Total earnings of Radha in the month is 625 into 276. Let us learn another technique of multiplication. First, we multiply 625 by 6. Then we multiply 625 by 70. Finally, we multiply 625 by 200. We add the three products to get 1,72,500 rupees. Therefore, Radha earns 1,72,500 rupees. Value of 1 Vivan buys 30 kgs of mangoes and spends 1,500 rupees. How much does 1 kg of mangoes cost? Cost of 30 kgs of mangoes is 1,500 rupees. Cost of 1 kg of mangoes is 
fifteen hundred divided by thirty that is fifty rupees a kilogram of mangoes costs fifty rupees let us verify our division cost of one kg of mangoes is equal to fifty rupees cost of thirty kg of mangoes is equal to fifteen to thirty which is equal to fifteen hundred rupees as per the question vivan spends fifteen hundred rupees on thirty kg of mangoes so we verify that our division operation is correct sujatha's son is getting married her house is full of guests she buys 32 liters of milk to prepare kheer for the guests if she pays 1120 rupees to the milkman what is the cost of 1 liter of milk cost of 32 liters of milk is 1120 rupees cost of 1 liter of milk is 1120 divided by 32 let us learn to divide 1120 by 32 write the two numbers as shown here consider the digits of 1120 the first digit 1 is too small to hold 32 the first two digits together that is 11 are again too small to hold 32 now consider the first three digits together 112 112 is big enough to hold 3 times 32 that is 96 therefore write 3 on the right side and 96 beneath 112 write 3 on the right and 96 beneath 112 subtract and write the difference 16 below bring 0 down the new number formed is 160 it holds 5 times 32 that is 160 exactly write 5 to the right of 3 and 160 beneath 160 subtract As the difference is zero, write x to mark the end division operation. Therefore, the cost of one liter of milk is thirty-five rupees. Miscellaneous problems on money. Now let us apply both the concepts together in solving money problems. Kishore is a daily wage worker. He earns two thousand four hundred fifty-seven rupees in seven days. How much will he earn if he works fifty-two days? First, we work out the earnings of Kishore for one day. Earnings of Kishore in seven days is two thousand four hundred fifty-seven. Earnings of Kishore in one day is equal to two thousand four hundred fifty-seven. Which is equal to three fifty one rupees. Now we work out his earnings for fifty two days. Earnings of Kishore in fifty two days is three fifty one into fifty two, which is equal to eighteen thousand two hundred fifty two. Therefore, Kishore will earn eighteen thousand two hundred fifty two in fifty two days. It takes two forty rupees to fill a car with petrol. How many cars can be filled with petrol by spending twelve hundred rupees? Number of cars that can be filled with petrol by spending two forty rupees is equal to one. Number of cars that can be filled with petrol spending twelve hundred rupees is equal to twelve hundred divided by two forty. That is five. Five can be filled with petrol. by spending 1200 rupees so far we have answered questions given to us let us now frame some questions look at this beginning of a word problem a kilogram of cake costs 25 rupees aruna buys 5 kg which of the following are suitable questions for it what is the cost of 5 kg who will pay for the 5 kilograms 
How much will Aruna pay for 5 kilograms? Will 5 kilograms be sufficient? Yes, option A and C are suitable questions for the given word problem. Option B and D cannot be answered on the basis of the given information. Therefore, they are not suitable questions. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. We multiply to calculate the value of money objects from 1. We multiply to calculate the value of many objects from 1. We first divide and then multiply to work out on the value of many objects from the value of some.